everyone and welcome to a special Make It Monday. We are going to do a focus video on showing how to install your bias piping and invisible zipper. Now this is a complimentary video to this one here, which shows the piping and invisible zipper. So please refer to that for all your beginning cutting instructions for making your bias piping and for cutting out your pillow pieces, which we have already done here, including using our handy dandy uh, tapered corner ruler. This helps eliminate those dog ears on your pillow. So let's jump right in and get started. So as you can see, I have already marked the bottom of my pillow with a surged edge. You can also use just a zigzag stitch on your regular sewing machine if you do not have a serger. This is where we will install the zipper. I have my bias piping and we are going to start over on the side, not the bottom because we do not want that thickness where we will be putting in that zipper. And so we want to leave at least a three inch tail. Match up your edges of your piping with your pillow. Your pillow is right side up and we are going to stitch right along that piping. It does not have to be super duper close to the piping. In fact, we want it a little bit further away because when we put the right sides together of our pillow, that's when we'll move it over and make sure we are super close and we don't see that stitching where we made our piping. I am using my zipper foot to do this installation. When you get closer to the corners, we're going to put some clips in it so that that fabric will go around that corner nicely. So now you can see we still get a good corner. Needle down, pivot, still lining up our raw edges with the side. So we are at our last corner and we are going to need to leave a tail so that we can join it. So we wanted to see where we're stitching here. Again, needle down and pivot. You're keeping these lined up and just stitching right beside the piping. All right, let's leave our tail. So now we want to join this and we are going to join using a bias method so that we eliminate that bulk. You can join your piping just with a straight fold over, but it is bulkier and not as clean. So let's go ahead and do our bias join. So we need to join this piece and this piece. So we're going to actually fold this back. And have this meet up here. So this is pulled nice and taut. And we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna put a little snip right there. Not all the way through, just the snip. Make sure that your snip made a mark that you can see. On this side, go ahead and cut it all the way off where that snip was. On this one, we need, I'd leave about four inches and then cut the rest off. Now take your seam ripper and open it up. So we have it opened up. We can still see our slits. Go ahead and open up the other side too. And you may have to remove some of those stitches so you have enough to work with. So we have this released and we have this one. Grab your clip. It's 
go ahead and clip our cording back just so it's out of our way. Because what we need to do hold this where it's right side up. This one is going to go right sides down. You see where your snips are? This lines up with your snips. Once you have that lined up, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to mark from corner to corner. And yes, I know I'm using a red chalk liner and I have blue chalk. <laughs> so now we have the snips. We have our line drawn, and you could always pre-draw that if you would like before you match it up with your snips, or you can do it right here. The main thing is this is lined up with our snips and our line from corner to corner, and you're gonna go to your machine and sew right on that line. So now we're gonna stitch right on that line. Cut your thread, and then we'll cut the excess off. Cut off your excess, press it open, now these can either be cut and taped together or I like to cut it where the join is because there's bulk there anyways and then leave a little bit of extra and I can adjust that when I get over there to sew because we don't want a gap in our piping. So this is going to fold over and then you're going to stitch it closed. So now we are going to continue stitching along this edge here to make sure that the piping is closed. With it pulled tight, make sure they are still matching up. If you need to trim some of that out, you can. then just cut off that tail. Now we need to prep our zipper for installation. This is an invisible zipper. Make sure it works first before you spend all that time. And then we are going to fold it down to where this coil rolls back and you see your zipper tape. We're going to take the iron and press that down to press it open. So basically we're making the coils roll back over. Do not press the iron to the coil. So if you need to use a press cloth, please do. The last thing you want to do is burn your teeth. So I'm just ironing on the side where the zipper tape is. both sides. Now that we have our zipper pressed, we are going to install. Now we're ready to put the zipper in. So you see I have a pin in here indicating the bottom. I do that with my pillows just to, to keep it straight. But again, this is the bottom because we had indicated it with a surged edge or a zigzag edge. I'm going to be using our sewing and craft tape. This stuff is amazing. I call it my magic zipper tape. And we're gonna put it right along the edge. This will help eliminate any need for pinning that zipper in. Once it's stuck, 
remove the top part of it. Now we need to take our invisible zipper. I always go longer for my zipper to get the coil out of the way, the zipper pull out of the way. We are going to line this edge up with the edge of our pillow. We want the coil up against our piping and the tape is going to help hold that edge in place. Make sure that your pillow is pulled taut. So now we are going to go to the machine and using our zipper foot, we are going to stitch right beside the teeth. All right, so now we are going to stitch right along our teeth. Please do not stitch over your teeth. And I'm not starting at the actual end because we will be removing that hole. So start about an inch in. Same thing, you're going to stop about an inch from the edge. Now we want to make sure our zipper is warmed up and ready to work for us. So go ahead and run the zipper a couple of times to get it going. Everything looks good. Now, with your zipper closed, we're going to flip it over to the back side, and you're going to mark where the end, right there at the bottom of your pillow, with your zipper tape. Same thing with your other side. So, right there at the end, mark your tape. Now take your zipper, Fold it over so it matches and make a mark on the other side. So now they're at the same area. So this way when you mark on your other, your other side of your pillow, it will start and end at the same spot, therefore it will match up. So now we have the zipper installed to one part of our pillow, now we need the other part of our pillow. So again, we have the bottom marked and our pillow pieces are going to need to go right sides together. So fold up that edge, take your zipper tape, put it right along the edge. Remove paper part. Now on our zipper we had it marked on each end to line up. So go ahead and line up those ends. Press the ends first. Go to the other one. And then now even out the rest. The edge of your zipper tape will go to the edge of your pillow. So our ends match up and everything is smoothed out. Now we're going to go back to the machine and again stitch right by the teeth. So again, we are going to start about an inch up from the edge. And we are sewing right by the teeth. And make sure
make sure to stop about an inch from the edge. So now we have the zipper put on both sides. Go ahead and zip it. Unzip it. Zip it back. Make sure we got good motion here and we do. Everything looks beautiful. So now we need to go ahead and put a stop on both ends so the zipper doesn't go further than it needs to. And then we'll connect the two sides and we'll be done with our pillow. So fold them right sides together. You're going to match up your corners. So here they are matched up and we're going to go to the machine and stitch right here. You can see where our piping was stitched. We're just gonna stitch right on the other side of it. So this will create a close for our zipper and snug your piping right up against your pillow piece. So we have our corners matched up. This extra bit, that's why we didn't sew all the way to the end, we're going to end up cutting this off after we have secured a stop for our zipper and we are going to stitch right along the piping. You can see where our piping stitch was. We're going to stitch there so that both sides are connected. So we are in between our zipper coil and our piping right now is where our needle is and we're going to sew right between those two. So please go carefully and slowly because we do not want to hit the zipper and break a needle. We are using a 18 needle because we are using a heavy upholstery fabric to make this pillow. 16 or an 18 should do most home deck fabrics. Make sure to backstitch several times because again, this is creating our stop for our zipper. And right to the edge. Now we're gonna open it up and make sure that we did get close enough. And we did, it looks great. So now do the other side. So now we have sewn our other side. It looks great. We can go ahead and cut off the excess zipper tape now. On both sides. Before we sew our pillow together, make sure your zipper is left open so that you can flip it because we will be sewing it completely shut. Now, take your pieces, put them right sides together. Go ahead and put some pins or clips in to make sure it stays lined up. If you do have a pattern like this one, this would be a great time to make sure that you are putting plenty of clips to make sure the pattern lines up on the top. Now that we have it clipped, we are going to sew from the side that we can see our stitching from our piping because we want to make sure that we are sewing closer to the piping this time so that that stitch does not show. And if you need an invisible zipper foot, we do sell those on our website where it is adjustable just like I was doing. So if your needle doesn't adjust, you can get the foot that will adjust for you. www.beyondfabricinc.com so we're starting in that corner, needle down and pivot. Now keeping the edges lined up, stitch right beside. So you can fill your piping here. You can see your piping stitch line. You're, you're stitching right to the other side of it. going to show another angle so hopefully it makes it a little bit more clear. 
So when you come up to the corner, again, you want to make sure this is the corner. We're going to come to the corner, needle down, and then pivot. Now you need to remove that bolt on the corner, each corner, now that our corners are clipped, let's flip it out and check our job. So let's turn our pillow right side out, remove our pins. You can take your handy dandy stiletto and poke those corners. And those are made here locally in town by Grouchies. Very, very handy. All right, I'm double checking, make sure we don't have any areas where I see any stitching from the piping and we are good. So now you can stuff it with a pillow form and you have an invisible zipper with piping pillow. Thank you again for joining us. You can always follow us here on YouTube, see some of our other videos and make sure to refer back to that piping video if you need the beginning instructions. You can always follow us on Facebook and Instagram and our website is www.beyondfabricinc.com. See you soon.